Hi everyone, today's topic is very interesting. We are going to talk about authentication. And getting authentication done right is very important for any enterprise application. Authentication is just like a process of verifying the identity of user, like you enter username and password. And after that, you are able to access that resource. It's very crucial aspect of software security and ensuring that only authorized user is able to access the application, right? So how do we get the authentication right? This is like a very critical question and we know the answer like we can do all these different type of authentication. We can choose one of the way to add authentication in your system. What are the different ways and how we can proceed like choosing one of the type and implement it with our application. So first we are going to talk about authentication types like password based authentication. You just enter username and password. So I can say the 90% of the applications relies on this username and password and then you allow user to access the application mobile app or a desktop app or any uh, mobile web app right or you allow user to log in using third party platform like login with the Facebook Twitter or social login and passwordless authentication I mean this involves some hardware like okay biometric authentication or facial recognition or there is a passwordless OTP generated like you just enter some credential generate an OTP and you enter the OTP so it's like you are not entering the password you are just entering the mobile number now the next part is token based authentication and this is really very popular and most of the application are using a token based a token is actually token based authentication method that uses a signed JSON object to represent a user claim so you log in you get a token now you play with the token to represent that you have already logged in and there comes a auth framework auth, auth framework is for authorizing third party applications to access the user data like when you log in with the google what you are doing under the hood it's auth we'll talk in detail about this multi-factor authentication which is nothing but okay combining two authentication approaches to add more security okay you just log in with the email and a password but no i'm not satisfied give me some more security token that that security token you can get through authenticator app which you find on most of the mobile apps so those are types now let's talk about what we can do with the microservices which we are writing what kind of authentication layer we can add so they they are they are divided into four different parts http basic auth API key based uh, authentication which works with server to server bearer token based or JWT token based authentication and when we talk about all those things in the context of nest.js we will talk about okay how you can authenticate it using username password basic auth and once you log in between your client and server then how your session is managed maybe session is managed by just a server side session or session is managed through cookies where client is sending the session i mean the cookies data to the server server is validating it or after passing the credentials login credentials you got a JWT token which you need to send to server every time you are sending a request so these are different uh, implementations we are going to talk so in this playlist we are going to talk about all those things in the context of nest.js and we are going to build our api secured with all these different authentication types